I remember we was playing one time and, and uh, they wanted to sub me. I, I could see the dude coming in. Yeah. I told him, you don't, don't bring your motherfucking ass to this hotel. <laughs> get out of here. your motherfucking ass. And he I ain't went going back nowhere. To the coach. He went back to the coach and he told me, he told me to get out the huddle. And I just <laughs> ran the play. Right. Oh, well. Right. You're funny. Uh, on the podcast, it is what it is. You stood on business with this statement. Let's play the clip. Are you better than LeBron in your prime? Any given day, I can be. Like, I'm a big reason he went to Miami. When I went for 41 in game seven, let's go. sent him home. Now, hold on. Let's yeah. I can't get past these Celtics and Pete Pierce. Let me, yeah. let me fly to he Miami. He said he couldn't get past Paul. I don't know if he said it, but that's Yo, what listen, I thought. So, let me. Man. So, Paul, on, on this, we like to play a game called Facts or Fiction. All right. Is it facts or fiction that in the clutch, you were a better player than LeBron James? Facts. <laughs> facts. Dad, what do you think? It's facts. Man, I, I'm not getting involved in this at all, to be honest with you. Paul knows how I feel about him, and Paul knows how I feel <laughs> about LeBron James. Facts. I can certainly say that, for the record, Paul Pierce stayed in Boston, for the record. That's all I can say. He didn't move around. He didn't do oh, those. He didn't recruit that. anybody outside of KG and Ray Allen right. via trades. That's all I can say. Yeah, true facts. Okay. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> your Celtics Big Three is one of, one of, well, it's considered one of the greatest of all time. So here's a clip where you knew the Heat's Big Three was going to be a problem. They said LeBron, Wade, and Bosch was on one team. I was like, what? Dad, you talk about our big three was cool. I was like, man, ain't nobody going to beat them. Mm. One year we went to game seven mm -hmm. with the Miami Heat. Yeah. You guys were up in that series though, right? Yeah, we went up 3-2. Yeah. We was up 3-2 and then went home for the closeout. Game six. Game LeBron six. dropped 45, we, one, of the best, LeBron, one of the best playoff games ever. I'm going to say this. I think, series, mm -hmm. yeah. I think that was – one of the most defining games of LeBron's he career. Was a, absolutely incredible. He turned the corner that game. Because people was like, is he clutch? Is he this? Is he soft or that? But after that game, he... There was no question. It was he no was more question. So, Paul, this might be mm -hmm. a pretty hard question to answer, but how do you stop D-Wade, LeBron, and Chris Bosh? Oh, no, that was tough. I ain't going to lie. I mean, when you look at it, you had LeBron, who arguably is a GOAT. The GOAT. You got D-Wade, who... Probably the third best two guard ever, and Bosch was a perennial all star, all in a prime. You know, I knew there was going to be a problem. I knew they when, once they teamed up that there was going to be a major problem, and that's why they won a couple championships and they had one of the longest winning streaks. I think at one point they won like thirty something games in a row, maybe twenty eight in a row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew there was going to be a problem because we was older already. They was in their prime. Yeah, and that so was already was, seasoned. Yeah, we we was we was already out the oven. We was already cooked. <laughs> did, they, did they, though, when you look at it from, from my standpoint, did they underachieve, though, based on the talent and I, everything? I think they I think they should have won three or four. Like, when you put that at that time, people was like, they, I mean, you go, you forget. Else had three, you forget. Huh? You forget. What Bron say in the, uh, what'd he say? One, two, three, one whatever. Four, five, yeah, six. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, was. I was kind of believing it. They could run them off. And they was relatively healthy. And nobody else had <clears throat> Three stars, huh? Not at that level. I mean, y'all was older. Yeah, we was older, but yeah. nobody had the the big three. Nobody had. Everybody the big had three. like two stars. Two, yeah. And so I thought they had run off and like then three you or had four. Those three, then they snatched Ray Allen, mm -hmm. which you know obviously hit that big shot against right. San Antonio. This conversation might be different. I think based on where you rank LeBron <clears throat> and you rank Wade and where you put Bosch in all time history. They might have underachieved. They, I mean, I, I just look at them that highly. That's why. I looked at that team that highly that mm -hmm. they could have ran the table, like, mm -hmm. with four. Because they went to four finals. They only got two of them. They got two of them. So they lost to they lost to Dallas. And they lost to San Antonio. San Antonio. And then they, they beat, beat OKC. OKC in San Young Antonio. In San Antonio. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, Hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.